Hey guys, what's up? My ben my name is Ben, or Contronaut. Um, today I'm bringing you week one of the uh, Race World Pokemon League versus Greg or Chillafrost. Um, this is just a uh, uh, league, or Pokemon League, uh, draft format, counter team kind of style, uh, similar to the UCL or GBA that I started up within the Race World community. Um, and our first week's opponent is Greg or Chillafrost. We're going to have uh, two matches a week, except for the first week when we just have one match. So... Um, expect, uh, two videos a week coming out for me, although I might not upload all the videos, or all the battles, but, um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go over my draft, since you guys don't know it yet, we got Excadrill, Tyranitar, Mega Manetric from OU, uh, from UU we have Milotic, and Tychirum, uh, and then we have Glade, Draviari, Omastar from RU, and NU has Vileplume, Go, like Weezing, um, I'm really happy about my draft, I think there's just a few weak points, but overall I think it's really solid. Um, now, when I look at Greg's draft, um, I know Greg is a pretty competent player when it comes to um, competitive Pokemon. At least he's he's definitely not um, he's definitely not bad. Like he's pretty experienced, I know. Um, but looking at his draft, I don't know. I see a lot of problems with it that I can kind of use. First of all, he has no Rapid Spinner or Defogger, so I am going to Hazard Stack against him. Um, second of all, he is uh, very weak to Earthquake. Um, especially a Mold Breaker Excadrill, which can uh, hit this run of wash. Um, third, he has, um, in my mind, only three or four good attackers, which is Weevil, Infernape, Azelf, and Dublade, and all of them are pretty much physical. Um, I know Azelf and Infernape can can both be special, Infernape, or Azelf can also set up with like nasty plots, but um, I'm not too worried about that. But pretty much I just need a good physical wall here. Uh, also, Bennett's physical usually. Uh, yeah, so, uh, looking at my team, I'm looking to kind of abuse all these things. First of all, we have my Hazard Stacking, Suicide Lead, Almost Star, uh, really self-explanatory, Focus Sash, I'm gonna click Toxic Spikes first turn, and then after that, either Stealth Rocks or Knock Off. Um, I'm just gonna basically stack until this thing dies. Now we have our Physical Wall, this thing is meant to take on Infernape, Weevil especially, and also, um, Azelf. Uh, just fully max max physically defensive. Oh, I have protect and recover because I want to be making sure that I'm generating as much health as I can. Um, and then I don't plan to attack too much with this thing, but I have Scald and HP Fire to do so if I need. HP Fire is really good against some of his um, physical counters to this, like Registeel. Not necessarily counters, but things that he switched out on my Lodic, like Kalefki or Registeel or, or Dewblade. Um. Now we have my other sort of physic or sort of defensive Pokemon this week. This is my Subrus Kyurem. This thing is specifically meant for his Rotom Wash. What I'm planning to do is whenever I see Rotom Wash, I'm gonna switch this thing in. Um, he can do about five to ten percent with a Volt Switch and um, not quite, not even twenty-five percent with a Hydro Pump. So I'm planning to sub up. Um, he can't break the sub. He can't burn me. I can go for Roost, but. Um, I have re two really good coverage options against this team, um, Shadow Ball and Earth Power. Uh, Greg has like, I think, two or three Ghost types, and also he has Azo, the Psychic type. So Shadow Ball is really good, Earth Power is good for the rest of his mons, besides um, Bottom Wash. And so yeah, I'll just sub up with this thing and then dish out um, some really powerful hits. Um, since Greg doesn't have a Earth Pokemon on his team, or, or, or Electric Resist, uh, Manetric's a great bring. We have Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, HP Grass. HP Grass is for the Ronin Wash, otherwise everything is really good coverage. Fire's really good coverage on his team, uh, as well as Ground and uh, Ghost. We have my Excadrill, which is Choice Scarf. Uh, Mold Breaker this week. Uh, Earthquake is pretty much the move I'm just going to be spamming. Uh, this thing is probably going to be my sweeper. This thing is my win condition for sure. This thing just tears through his team. Uh, we have Earthquake and Kesse get burned somehow. We have Facade and then Shadow Claw, pretty much useless. Um, I don't really see myself ever going for Rapid Spin because I'm pretty sure the only um, hazard options he has on his team is Stealth Rocks uh, or Spikes, I think. Yeah. So I don't really see myself going for Rapid Spin. Uh, but yeah, this thing is this thing pretty much like two hit KOs every single thing on his team, if not Oko's. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's insane. So this thing is gonna be huge this week. Uh, now we have my Entei, my Life Orb Entei. Uh, this thing I'm mainly bringing for its extreme speed, which gives me a 
a good secondary check to his fast mons, which is Weevil, Infernape, Azoph. Um, also Sacred Fire, this thing takes on the uh, Dewblade really well as well. Um, the other two moves I don't see myself using too much. But yeah, E-Speed, Sacred Fire, um, gonna be a good uh, mid-game wall breaker. Yeah, so uh, the match should be coming up just in a second here. I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, we have the battle just about to start. Just waiting for him to start his recording. There we go. Okay. So he did bring his three physical mons and... Uh, okay, so he brought pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Uh, thankfully no Lulligan because I didn't prepare for that. Um, of course, I already know that I'm going to lead with my Omastar, but I'm just going to look over. So yeah, four physical attackers pretty much. Plus the Clef, he doesn't really attack. Um, yeah, definitely my load really important. Hmm, okay. Um, I also have uh, my damage calcs for each of my Pokemon up here, so um, I want to try to be damage calcing a lot. I'm going to go ahead and lead. Um, I think he's going to put his, uh, my Pokemon on his layout. Uh, anyway, I'm also going to record this because I feel like I go too fast in matches usually, so I really want to try to slow things down uh, if I'm recording and like, Hopefully it'll make me think think things clear, uh, through more. Um, also, I want to try to calc as much as possible. Like even if there's a small question of if it won't kill or not, I should calc it. Um. Oh. So just gonna wait on him. He's just putting my Pokemon on the layout. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think probably you scarfed. For an ape, I'll have to scout for that. Um, uh, my Entei is basically my backup, my Lodic, if my Lodic faints. Uh, Kyurem can't really take too many physical hits. But like I said, it's my switch in for Rotom or even even Clef. Well, no, not Clef if I because he could have uh, Foul or, yeah, what is it, Play Rough or Iron Head or something like that. That would not be good. To be honest, my Kyurem isn't even that. Uh, my Kyurem isn't even that valuable. I mean, it really just goes like, up, up against the Rotom. Depending on what he has on the Azoph. And, uh, I mean, it can go against Weavile too, I guess. But um, Kyurem might be a, a sack if I need it. So, uh, oh yeah, in terms of Toxic, I ha or Poison Barbs, it hits, what? I guess just two Pokemon? Yeah. So that's not that great. Um... I almost want to go for Rocks turn 1 instead. Yeah, I think Rocks might be better. Because Rocks is going to hit everything, whereas Poison is only going to hit the Weevil and Infernape, I'm pretty sure. Because I think Levitators don't. It doesn't count on Levitators. Uh, the Toxic Spikes. Um, spikes are good too. I'll probably do Stealth Rocks and hopefully Toxic Spikes. <sighs> hopefully he hurries up here. You know, I'll just pause it until he's ready. Alright, so we are going to get in here. He led with Azo, which me which makes me think that he is uh, lead Azo. It's good for me. I am gonna go right for rocks. Okay, nasty plot. Uh that is not good. I am going to immediately knock off. Uh, I do have the focus sash on this. Okay. Leftovers. It looks like two more knockoffs will kill it. I think that's what I have to go for. And I do have the, uh, of course, I'm not outspeeding now. Uh, of course, E speed. E speed might kill from this range. Let me actually calc that. Let's see, I have Entei versus. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, Azoph has UU Nasty Plot. Let's see what a E speed does. 52, so I do need to go for another knockoff. That's what I'll go for. I'm living. That actually didn't do as much as I expected. I thought it would bring down to my sash. Uh, let's go for Toxic Spikes. Okay. So I only got up rocks. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna go right out. Okay, so Greg also, or Gurg also, it speeds my Excadrill, but 
Um, I don't think my natural gas. I'm just gonna go right out into my anti. Hopefully he doesn't have priority. Okay, good. Okay, that's a little unfortunate that I didn't get on my my hazards. Uh, I had to get make sure that Azov was below 50%. Um, but it's not bad. Okay, now we have Klefki. Um, I think this thing is probably gonna T wave. I kind of want to go for the Sacred Fire though. Or we could go into Milotic. Um, my Lodic's really important though. I don't see- no, Entei's really important too though. Let me go for the Sacred Fire. Okay, Spikes. Oh, and that just Okos. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so I got one layer of Spikes. I'm really glad I brought Knock Off on my almost Star. Although Scald would have done. Decent. Uh, actually, Scott probably would have brought it down enough. Uh, okay, so this thing, I'm just gonna switch straight into my Kyurem. Uh Spikes will do some damage, not a big deal. Hydro Pump, I should eat that. That's a crit. Yeah, easy. Alright, let's go right for the sub. And then we're gonna have to go Roost next turn. Hopefully he... Okay, that's okay. Um, I am gonna go straight up for an Earth Power here. I think... Let me actually calc it. I think it'll kill though. Uh, let's go Infernape. Oh god, oh you mix ape. Yeah, Earth Power is okay. That's gonna break the sub. Oh, and even, yeah, that's gonna be an Oko easy. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, it's looking good for us. Uh, I think Excadrill almost sweeps. His Dewblade needs a little more. Hits on it. I'm gonna go. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go. Bleh, I'm gonna go for a sub again. Yeah, he's gonna not be able to break my sub. This is perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Gonna go for the roost because I actually don't have much to hit this thing. I have Shadow Ball. Okay. Uh, crit. Uh, go for the sub again. Okay. Uh, now I can go for Shadow Ball. Uh, this should do maybe 30%? No, no, not even. That's okay, though. We can sit here all day. I have pressure on him. Right for the sub. Yeah, he's he really doesn't have anything. Uh, it was citrus, okay. Uh, so now we go sub and then roost. He probably can predict us and go out, but it's not a big deal at all. I mean, what? Yeah, that's not gonna matter. I mean, I think Earth Power Okos. I'm not gonna bother calcing it because it's my play, but. Okay, low kick. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I should switch out here. Uh, and. My Melo Tick isn't getting much use, so we'll go into that. Okay, easy. Um, he's probably going into the Rotom. I should Scald anyway. Okay. That's a little suck, but uh, it's not a big deal at all. I got rid of the... Yeah, pretty much my, my Lodic isn't too useful now. He's going to set up on me. Uh, I'm going to go... Okay, how much does HP Fire do? Uh, let's go... Uh, do I have... This is supposed to be my Lodic. Gamer 16, and let's put HP Fire on it. How much does an HP Fire do to a Dew Blade? Mm, I don't know. Okay, not doing a lot actually. <laughs> um, okay, what's our play here? Um, I mean, honestly, Excadrill uh, sweeps. Uh, I'm gonna go out into, yeah, I'm gonna go out into this. Uh, if he can, like, this is honestly just a sack at this point. I just need to sack something and put pressure on him at the same time. So, uh, 
I should be able to... No, I'm not going to take... I might take a Shadow Sneak. After an Intimidate, I think I will. Yeah, I have to take a Shadow Sneak after an Intimidate. This, maybe if it's like Adamant. I'm not going to Calc it, because it's my play. Oh, and he doesn't go for the... Okay, I didn't expect it to take one. Uh, Shadow Sneak is probably going to kill now, but that's okay. It might not. Nah, it will, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow, dude. Ah, oh, Mega, Mega Manetric is a champ. Uh, we can go for the... Uh, I could preserve the differential, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for HP, HP Grass. It might... Okay, he doesn't, or he misses, or he, he hits, uh, and I can just go out into, uh, into a win. That's gonna be a GG, Greg. That was a good game. Uh, he caught me off guard with that Azo set. And I have to remember to get. Okay, so yeah, that'll be it um, for the match. Uh, GG. Uh, we are playing Jack and Paul next week, so um, pretty excited for those matches. Anyway, see you guys later.